it, it literally is to collapse the country. The most poor, no jobs, no school, multiple kids, women just showing up to go directly on the welfare roll and to vote 100% Democratic. And the Republican leadership's going along with it because they want to defeat the Tea Party. They want to balkanize and break the country up. Were we able to get a better mic? All right, well, we'll have to go back to that one if, uh, if it doesn't have, maybe it broke, I don't know. Uh, but uh, maybe we can get them to go down by the Border Patrol checkpoint itself or tell us why they, they move from that position to where they're at. Uh, maybe get into an area where there's not a bunch of wind so we can talk to them. Uh, but uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, reporting for Infowars.com uh, from the border. I mean, listen, they say it's racist if you point out that totally undocumented illegals carry diseases. I mean, have you been to South America, Central America? Doctors warn of looming health crisis due to flood of young illegal immigrants. Well, that's what it's supposed to do is bankrupt the country. What do you think Obamacare is? What do you think Cloward and Piven is? What do you think Agenda 21 is? What do you think shutting down the power plants is? This is the reality. New sensors will scoop up big data on Chicago. Metal fixtures going up uh, will grab Every, that look like pieces of sculpture, but they'll provide big step forward. The Chicago understands itself, observing the city's people and surroundings. Inside of the sculptures uh, will be, uh, quote, data collection sensors. And, and, and see, they call it a air quality, light intensity, sound volume. That's microphones. See, they're not putting up light poles that have microphones that listen to you. It's a sound volume or gunshot detector, though it's used to listen to you. See, I mean, this is 1984. It's not Chicago's putting up Homeland Security funded systems that have cell towers hidden in them. We, you know, we broke this a few months ago in Seattle to steal all your data, and it turns out it's illegal, so they had to stop. No, 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 in Chicago, it's a sculpture. You're not against art, are you? New sensors will scoop up big data on Chicago. The sensors will also count people by measuring wireless signals on mobile devices. This was put in eight years ago, first in England, now in other cities in the U.S. last year and this year. And it tracks everything you do in real time, bypassing even the telecoms, paying to get the data from them. It, it just government's going to grab the data from you itself, but also have its own network. But it's in a sculpture. Yeah, I mean, come on. <sighs> And people still keep making jokes about me covering the New York Times years ago about the new light bulbs can have wireless systems put into them that flicker data to communicate with new sensors that come in computer pads or that are inside the computer that then lets the government remote access your computer. I mean, that's New York Times. And it's a big liberal thing making fun of me that he thinks the light bulbs are spying on you. Okay, we've got the crew back, guys. What was it you said that was a dangerous area you were in, and, and so you guys had to move before coming on? What happened there, and what else has been unfolding, Kit? We took a, a back road just south of the highway and looked for a place near the border fence to make our shoot. And there was, we passed by a, a police station, like a little small town police station, which just so happens to have one of those uh, surveillance uh, towers. And we looked at it, I was like, wow, what is that? What? Why is that out here? So we kept driving, and it's just wide open fences, no border patrol whatsoever. It's just, it gives you a really eerie, uncomfortable feeling. It's all just brush land. Like, it, just about anybody can hide anywhere out there. Now, we've got a report you filed. I thought it was coming. You guys did such a great job shooting this. It's already done. We're going to premiere it here coming up in the next segment and keep you some into overdrive. Kit Daniels and Rob Jacobson are reporting from the Texas border. But in this new video, uh, and I think we're going to title it, uh, I guess, Border Wide Open, Border Patrol Stands Down or Border Patrol Leaves Gates Open. I guess we already have the video of that we're about to show folks when we come back from break. Describe what else you've seen, Kit. It just, it just hit me like a ton of bricks. The state troopers and the small town cops here are trying to, are doing a better job at border security and what the border patrol can do. That's why we just saw a city surveillance tower right near the border. Like driving up here, we saw like two or three uh, 
like two or three state troopers parked several, like just every so often down the highway. The state of Texas and the local police are having to step in to protect the borders. That and let's be clear. Just like in Mexico, the government wouldn't do its job and disarm the people, so the crime rate exploded. Citizens got guns illegally, restored order. Just like the feds are stepping back, that's a major important angle right there to confirm and then do a report on when you guys get back, because I know you're coming back tonight, is the fact that Texas uh, steps in when Border Patrol stands down uh, because uh, you say you've seen almost no Border Patrol, and I've been down there, it's usually crawling, so now you're seeing state police and locals having to step in. And I want to emphasize that the Border Patrol agent that we did see, he was just on the uh, on the shoulder of Highway 281 and is likely probably taking a phone call. It wasn't like we saw him out in the Badlands that we just drove through. Oh, but this is amazing. I, I've got your special report coming up. And we're going to come back to you, Kit Daniels, from the border, InfoWars.com. I'm Alex Jones, and we're going to come back and play this report. Stay with us. Hey, this is Steve Sanchez. Worried about the Wall Street Casino? Yeah, me too. Wondering when the stock market is going to collapse? You probably want answers, but you know you can't trust the global elite. Well, my good friend Brett Kitchen, best-selling author, has created a DVD set called The Millionaire Black Box. And for a limited time, you get free access. Call 1-800-259-3131. Find out how the global elite invests without having to deal with the global elite themselves. 1-800-259-3131. 1-800-259-3131. We, the people, grow cotton. We, Fabric, Engrave Inc., embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit and carting to a private bank, having it led back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. Good as a big Berkey water filter. We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters Filters can last for five to ten years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Tired of paying outrageous prices for Viagra? Well, we have great news for you. Now you can finally get Viagra at huge discounts. Healthy Man allows you to save up to $500 on Viagra. Why pay U.S. pharmacy prices of $15 per pill or more when you can get Viagra for less than $3 a pill? Call today and get 40 Viagra pills for only $99. This can cost as much as $600 at your local pharmacy. You can't afford not to call us. If you want Viagra at the lowest prices, never pay $15 a pill pharmacy prices again. Get Viagra for less than $3 a pill. Call 1-800-478-9638 today and save up to $500 and get 40 pills for just $99. Healthy Man is fast, easy, and affordable. Operators are waiting at 1-800-478-9638 to take your call now. Call 1-800-478-9638. That's 1-800-478-9638. Again, 1-800-478-9638. All right, final segment of the main transmission. We'll do some overdrive with Kit Daniels and Rob Jacobson. I also kind of want to get Rob Jacobson's take on what he's seen while he's been down there in overdrive, so perhaps we'll do that. We're going to their report that shows the Border Patrol leaving gates open now and just leaving at night. I mean, that's how wide open this is. This is totally insane. Before I go any further, please remember this hour was brought to you by MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex where you find their specials. Super high quality, great customer service. This is where I get my storable foods. They're trying to collapse society. You're insane if you don't have storable food. MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. Check them out today and they're great sponsors as well. So it's a win, win, win. 
Great company. You get great food. Supports the broadcast. MyPatriotSupply.com. Separately, we have the best products, water filters, free stainless steel stands, 10% off with promo code water on the filtration systems. The best ones out there, ProPure with the new filters, InfoWarsStore.com. Get your water purified and support basic liberty at the same time uh, by funding this operation and InfoWarsLife.com. Got some great specials, detox specials on X2. Super hot product, but we're discounting it because we want it to get it into your hands. I want to thank you all for your support. X2 at InfoWarsStore.com or go directly to the supplement subpage at InfoWarsLife.com. We've got some new items coming this week. Made in America apparel and new Molon Labe belt buckles as well coming to madein1776.com. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's go ahead and go to the border report showing more evidence of a complete treasonous stand down. In the border city of Brownsville, Texas, the incredible decrease of border patrol activity emphasizes that not only is the border patrol stretched thin, but agents are also being pressured to stand down from enforcing immigration laws as the federal government also begins to enact a media blackout on America's vanishing borders. We're here at the international border in Brownsville, Texas, and as you can see, there's hardly any border patrol whatsoever, even at the border. You would think with the current flood of tens of thousands of immigrants from Central America overwhelming our borders, Brownsville would be crawling with border patrol vehicles. But on the extreme contrary, we saw no exaggeration. Well over 10 times as many border patrol vehicles parked at various facilities and we saw driving the streets in and around Brownsville. In fact, we stood for well over an hour outside the border checkpoint in the city and only saw maybe one border patrol vehicle every 10 to 15 minutes drive by. Just look at this wide open border fence. It's at night and nobody's guarding it. It's wide open. This just highlights the illusion of border security by the Obama administration. Consider the fact that the surge of immigrant youth has increased from 6,500 in 2011 to 90,000 this year alone, an increase of over 1,300 percent. And it's crystal clear that the Obama administration is forcing the Border Patrol to back off of enforcing existing immigration laws. One of the very few Border Patrol agents that we observed actually patrolling South Texas took a very keen interest in us. As you can see, he speeds up to catch up to our vehicle and likely ran our plates. He tried to flag him down and talk to him, but he didn't respond. He tailed us very closely for several minutes, nearly all the way into downtown Brownsville before he finally peeled off. We were driving around the border. I guess he took an interest in us. We're standing outside a illegal immigration detention facility about 40 miles northeast of Brownsville, Texas. Well, we drove down to the guard station and asked if we could take a tour of the facility as journalists. But they refused, told us to turn around, and even told us to stop recording. Yeah, hey, we're journalists out of Austin. Is it possible for us to take a look around? No, sir. Drive around? No? You will have to call in and, and get an appointment. There, there are signs. You do have one sign, not to be recorded. Okay. Fine. Over the past few weeks, the feds have been shutting down areas immediately on the U.S. side of the border, which have traditionally been open to the public. There they are closing them down by citing safety concerns. Do not enter. Authorized personnel only. Signs like these have been popping up in the last couple of weeks on our side of the border. They keep the public and the press away and in the dark about the border collapse. This is simply a media blackout that allows the Obama administration to control the narrative on illegal immigration. They've already been doing just that by deceptively skewing the number of deportations in their favor by classifying cases where All right, we'll be right back, folks. We'll put the full report up on InfoWars.com so radio GCN. listeners can see it in the next 30 minutes. Visit GCN Live. We'll be back in overdrive today. with some final analysis. Stay with us. InfoWars.com forward slash show. From the water table to our soils to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans live with 
with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. Coast to coast.